Hello and welcome to Beginning Engineers. Today I'm going to be discussing the rack and pinion, rotating motion to linear motion. What is a rack and pinion? A rack and pinion is a type of gear that converts rotational motion into linear motion. The circular gear is known as the pinion. The linear gear is known as the rack. Makes sense, if you think about a coat rack or something like that, it's usually a pretty straight bar. They interact through teeth in both the gears. That picture shows a rail rack system, which is how some trains traveled. I'm going to briefly touch on the gear ratio. This is a topic for a whole nother video, but basically, putting a series of gears together into a gear train, which is what you call a bunch of gears together, gives mechanical advantages based on the size of the gears and how they are interlinked. That equation there has the rotational velocity of gear A over the rotational velocity of gear B equals the number of teeth of gear B over the number of teeth of gear A. Now what that means is if the number of teeth on the output gear, NB, are greater than the number of teeth on the input gear, NA, then the input gear must be moving faster, it must be rotating faster, that's an angular velocity, than gear B. And that makes sense if you imagine a tiny little gear turning a big gear. If the tiny one has less teeth, but they're interlocked and moving at the same speed, the smaller one has to be rotating quicker. And I like this equation because it's modeling something that makes sense to us in the real world, if you've ever looked at gears. It's intuitive, and the math proves it. These gear ratio advantages also apply to rack and pinion gears. That's why I touched on them briefly. Where would you see rack and pinion gears practically? Where would you see them in the real world being used in practical applications? Well, the picture on the bottom shows the lock gate control on a canal. That is a rack and pinion. See the large pinion? And then see the rack going up and down vertically? That opens and closes a gate on a canal, or it helps lock it. Stair lifts, so if you've seen those commercials, usually for the elderly of the stairs, the chair that sits and moves up the stair, that's a rack and pinion. Inside the chair would be a pinion, and going up the rail of the stairs, probably internally, would be some sort of rack gear. The steering mechanism for many cars is a rack and pinion gear, and that's the top picture there. So as you, the driver, rotate the wheel, you're rotating the pinion and that moves the rack, which in turn most likely pushes on four bar linkages and turns the wheels, and some actuators as well. So in many industrial applications where there are pipes or pneumatic tubes or systems like that, some of the actuators that close off paths or open up certain paths use a rack and pinion gear. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you now have a better understanding of how rack and pinion gears work. If you like this video, please subscribe. I have dozens of videos explaining engineering concepts, everything from mechanical engineering to process engineering. Have a great day.